Poetry Metrics, Understanding the Rhythm of Traditional Poetry. We have four common types of meter, iambic, trochaic, anapestic, and dactylic, but by far the most common is iambic. We also talk about the number of feet per line. The most common arrangement would be trimeter, tetrameter, or pentameter, with three, four, or five feet per line. What makes a foot? The arrangement of syllables in a line of poetry will define the foot. All English words of more than one syllable have a stressed syllable and at least one unstressed syllable. Arranging these syllables into a pattern creates metrical feet. The iambic foot consists of one unstressed syllable followed by one stressed syllable. Here is an example, the word before, before. Notice that the first syllable is unstressed, the second syllable is stressed. Here the short line indicates an unstressed syllable and the slash indicates a stressed syllable. Say the word out loud and listen to the stress pattern. Here is a line of iambic poetry. This is the way it works in a line of poetry from Emily Dickinson. Because I could not stop for death. I'll read it again, slowly, overemphasizing. Because I could not stop for death. This line of poetry contains four iambic feet, so it is called iambic tetrameter. Again, say the line of poetry out loud and listen. Notice that the way this poem is marked shows clearly that we have four stressed syllables within the line of poetry and also four unstressed syllables. This gives us a total of eight syllables, but four feet. Here is another example, this one from Robert Frost. Whose woods these are, I think I know. Once more, with overemphasis, whose woods these are, I think I know. This is also an example of iambic tetrameter. The line of poetry has eight syllables, but four feet. Say the line out loud. Traditional poetry is written to be heard. Here is one more iambic example, a line from Anne Bradstreet. If ever two were one, then surely we. Again, with even more emphasis, if ever two were one, then surely we. This is an example of iambic pentameter. It has five feet and ten syllables. If you are having some difficulty hearing the stresses, try clapping your hands at the stress points like this. If ever two were one, then surely we. Even though the iambic foot is by far the most common, we can find examples of other types of poetry. Here is an example of the trochaic foot. The trochaic foot has one stressed syllable followed by one unstressed syllable. The example we have here is the word number. Number. The first syllable is stressed. The second syllable is unstressed. This gives us one trochaic foot. Here is a line of poetry from Poe using trochaic meter. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. Once more with some clapping for the emphasis. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. This line from the Raven is an example of trochaic octameter. The line contains eight trochaic feet. This is very long and quite unusual. Again, say the line out loud and listen to the stress pattern. Clap your hands or tap your foot like you are listening to music. The iambic foot is by far the most common. It is seen more often than all the other patterns combined. Other videos on my channel will expand poetry metrics and show some larger segments of poems. Thanks for watching.